All right, guys, so in the last video on this playlist, we showed you the White Angels that we just recently got. And let me just say, they are loving these Sarah Onip tabs that I recently purchased off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check those out. We've had these in quarantine for about two weeks, and now it's time to put them in the 125 with the three other angels. Apologies for the glare, can't really do much about it. But fish room's looking pretty clutch. But like I said, it's time to move these guys to the 125. They've been in here for two, two and a half weeks now. They've been doing great and eating ever since the day I got them. We're also going to be putting the Pearl Garami in there as well that you can see in the back left. And also the Empire Gudgeon that I got from a store local to me. Really excited about that one and hopefully it's a male so it'll show those incredible oranges. But without further ado, let's get them in the tank. All right, so we've taken the lid off and if you are looking for an easy plant to grow, definitely get this water sprite. As you can see, some of it is coming out of the water. We've caught two of the angel fish and the rest of the fish that are coming out of this tank are already in the bucket. So we're gonna put these in the bucket and then acclimate them. Everything in this tank is gonna stay running because I'll put some more fish in there at some point soon. And I've kind of been forced into that and you'll see why. But we're gonna drip acclimate all these. So get them in a bucket, put a towel over, drip acclimate like I always do. Just got that clip for that. Everything coming down, tie a knot in it there. Have a slight little drip. We'll probably be doing this for about 25, 30 minutes. And then we'll get them in this 125 along with the tetra, the rainbows, and of course the other angelfish. And hopefully everything will go good and everyone will get along. Sure hope so. So as you could see, all the fish got added in one. We're now gonna add some sea chem stability. I've been adding this to the tank um, ever since I set it up basically. And I'm gonna use the remainder now, seeing as though I added these fish just to make sure the biological filter and everything in this tank's all good, even though we do have an FX6, a Sun Sun 304B and a sponge filter just in there as a precaution right now. 20 minutes later, Angels are looking pretty solid as you can see the lights have just come on in the tank Everybody seems to be doing pretty good although Some of them are chilling toward this side although this side is a little bit darker just because I have The light in more central obviously for the island So that's not necessarily surprising what we're going to do is just come back in an hour or two And hopefully they'll be a little bit more chilled out. So let's do that
So I hope you enjoyed that little cinematic portion of the video and a cinematic look at this tank. We've not really done that in the last few videos that we've done on it. So as you can see, it's looking really, really good now. And I'm definitely loving the way the tank's looking with the addition of these five white angels and the pearl garami. Let's not forget that guy. He's absolutely awesome. But a few hours later, everybody seems to be getting along. Some of the newer... Uh, platinum angels are a little smaller than the ones that I had in the tank but I don't really see that being an issue um, because they're not that much smaller and to be honest angel fish from what I can tell can't really inflict much damage on each other anyway especially not as the African cichlids could that I used to that I used to keep um, in this 125 gallons but overall really really liking it the angels look to be doing good and a lot of these Platinums have actually got really, really long fins, which just looks awesome. And as you can see, there's a little bit of chasing every now and again, but everybody seems to be relatively chilled out and relaxed. The Pearl Garami is doing good. He's just hanging out and kind of keeps himself to himself. The Empire Gudgeon, to be honest, ever since I let him in the tank, I've not seen him. Um, so hopefully he's still doing good, but he is a, a little bit more shy than the other fish that I added. So I'm sure he'll be good. And hopefully once I um, feed the Saronip tabs that he likes, he'll be, he'll be back out and plugging away at those. But overall, absolutely loving this tank at the minute. Angel fish have acclimated brilliantly. Pearl Garam is acclimated brilliantly. Everybody's doing good. And I'm just so happy with this tank. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching, supporting the channel, liking this video and letting me know what you think. We'll see you on the next one and we'll end this one with a quick feed.